Yeah, here on the daily chart, you can see about a week ago or a little bit more, I said that really Ethereum Classic was dead money below the 2018 high, which is around uh, 47. And then we finally, we had we finally had that 30% day uh, on the 29th and we, we took out that level. We took out the descending trend line for May and we hit the, the 50 day simple moving average. I think it was about a 90% advance off the low. So it's only natural that we're seeing some type of pullback here. We certainly didn't make an overbought condition. So the pullback shouldn't be that significant unless there's a broad sell off in the cryptocurrency market like we're, we're seeing today. I think support now moves to $47. Uh, but considering that the, the support that the BWAP provided back in, in the first half of, of June, it should be in play here and instructive uh, for Ethereum Classic price moving forward. Other than that, there's really not much to say. It looks like one of the, the outcomes that we could could essentially be looking for here is some type of shoulder coming in here on the, on the right side, and we have a head and show inverse head and shoulders pattern. That could be an eventuality if the market gets weak and this takes more time to consolidate. Then we should be looking for that, and then we. We can play on the neckline coming across here. And then in terms of upside targets, really, I mean, I think we really have to look at the, the Fibonacci levels, the 38.2% retracement of the, the May, June correction also correlates well with the, the end of May highs here. So that'll be a superior resistance. That works out to about, from the current price, that would be a 50% advance. And from, let's say, a neckline, if it was put in there, it would be about a 27% advance uh, from a potential neckline if we do go into forming a right shoulder here. Anything, you know, any weakness below 47, we have to entertain this bro this descending trend line from, from the top of May. And if that fails, then, of course, we go back into looking at the June 22nd low, which is at... 3253 and then of course the 200 day simple moving average which comes in at 30 three dollars and 28 cents i don't see that happening no this is really one of the first of the of the the yield coins to have a breakthrough uh in terms of the of the charts and really establishing itself above superior support so i think we might go through a corrective process like i said with the right shoulder but overall i think this coin has has printed its low now how do you expect the uh, pullback to be? Uh, I expect it to take the form. I mean, it could take the form. If we are going to have some type of pullback, it actually could end up being just like uh, the left shoulder, more of a, a sideways consolidation along the VWAP, uh, the purple line there. Uh, but any deep, any depth to it would have to stay above $47. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Interesting. Yeah, honestly, I, even I didn't uh, think that the Ethereum Classic is going to uh, pull above a lot of uh, coins. Let me get rid of my screen. Yep. Yeah, I didn't. It was um, that 30% day really kind of changed everything for, for Ethereum Classic. Yeah, honestly, like uh, a lot of all coins are still uh, trying to recover from this loss from June 20 to 22. Uh, and Ethereum Classic is blasted through the roof and now it's trying to find support here. Uh, so from a short-term perspective, I don't see anything different than what you just mentioned here. Uh, I think there is high possibility that we form a inverse head and shoulders pattern here. Something like this. So by that logic, we should hold 51, although there might be sweeps below here. Not sure, but uh, typically I'm looking at uh, the liquidity down here, uh, or at least it retraced sixty percent. Hold up one sec. Yeah. So this one actually coincides directly here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and expect it to come down to this level, and then do something like this which is 
around 47, which coincides with the line that you, uh, the 2018 high, right? You just mentioned? Yeah, 2018 high. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, sounds really good. So we're expecting a 34% or 40% upswing from uh, the 2018 high. Yeah. And the formation of inverse, and that is just the formation of inverse head and shoulder. But if you actually look at the target from the next line, this is being very optimistic. And if we're being a little too conservative. It's 48 percent. Right, so it's either 92 or 122. I would say in the, in the, in the medium term, I don't think that's something that would happen. Within the yeah. Next week, so. Yeah, exactly. And like, Bitcoin is still ranging, consolidating. So until and unless we see Bitcoin break through that range, I don't see this possibility happening. Yeah, well, I think the way if Ethereum, Ethereum is also weak, I think it will have some, some impact as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe residual, but it still will have some weight on, on Ethereum Classic. Right, but I do think it's time that we break out of the uh, the ranging market for Bitcoin. So until that happens, I think we'll, just, we'll see something like this. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm actually a little bit surprised with Bitcoin today. It's different place, but um, I expected that uh, better outcomes for it. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, to sum it up, right, uh, from a long term perspective, you're looking at uh, you're looking at Ethereum coin to stay above 47k. Uh, if it does that, you're expecting it to go uh, up to 65k. I mean, 65. And if we do complete the inverse head and shoulder pattern, there's a possibility of uh, us hitting 92 and 122 in a very long term perspective, but not in a mid term mm -hmm. perspective, right? In the short term perspective, I'm looking uh, at a retracement to 47k, which also coincides with the 2018 high, and then a an upswing to this uh, the liquidity over here, which uh, ranges from 62 to 65. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Uh, did I miss